All right, all right. So speaking of calling in, there's my sister calling me, and I was right in the middle of one, two, one, three, seven, one, three, eight, nine, five, four, and here I am now. I've got to uh, got to get back. So people are just racing. I'm going like faster than I want to go, but you know, help me, Lord. You know, tomorrow is Presence Day. Isn't that funny? Tomorrow is going to be Presence Day, so make sure to get your present. Uh, what's that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that? It's not Presence Day. What is it? Huh? Oh, it's President's Day. Well, that's different. All right. That's different. President's Day. I guess it's... Well... Uh, looks like... Looks like something hit the window there and took a little bit of the, the tint off. That's not good. I'm already scratching up the tint. It's not even two weeks old here. Crazy. Alright, well, I'll have to fix that somehow. Maybe they can put a little dab of goop or something on it. <coughs> so I was saying that I can be of service somehow to you. I mean, some, there's a blimp out there. And the Goodyear blimp's around here somewhere, as far as I remember. Somewhere near Torrance, Hawthorne, in there. My sister was telling me that when she first got the house out there in the city she lives in, that she, uh, She would make this drive over here to, to the uh, Incline Village every day. It was like a three-hour trek, hour and a half out, hour and a half back, I think, something like that. Maybe it was probably it was an hour, maybe two hours, I don't know. But she spent a lot of time driving, a lot of time. Well, what do you do when you've done your utmost, but you can't seem to get resolution? Sometimes people just take off, and I, I don't really get that. I mean, they just give up. They say, you know what? I'm out. I'm done. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And it isn't David Spade at the uh, exit of the airplane either. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's, 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 you know, someone screaming and yelling and then, you know, hanging up and you're like, what happened just now? And how do you deal with that? I don't really know how you deal with that. I know that the Bible says that we got to try to make peace with all men. So I just keep trying. I keep trying. I keep hoping and praying that at some point this will all kind of settle out. That somehow or another... This is going to work out. That I'm going to get a call one of these days and be like, Hey, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry too. And big hugs and it'll all be okay. That's my hope. That's my prayer, of course. But you can't make things happen. You know, you can't. I do this 
lazy too. It's kind of a, a snaky move to tell people, hey, I'm, I'm stopping here. Try to get their attention. Because if people are distracted, you know, everything just looks... If you see someone like this, you're, what, what's going on? What's that? What's that? You go, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Yogi. No, I'm almost there. Almost there. There's a car stopped up here. That's our problem. Car stopped up ahead. A lot of our people just, just, just freaking out. Just driving as fast as they can to, you know, just, just. Easy does it, easy does it. There's no reason to there's no reason to panic. No reason to drive like a maniac. It's just Yeah, I don't know why people are going that way. I see what happened. There's a there's a person here with a some sort of weird car and marijuana and I don't I guess marijuana is supposed to be the greatest thing in the world. I mean, yeah, let's all smoke pot together. My heart breaks for someone who's sick, someone who's ill, someone who needs to have. Some point of many, I've heard, you know, this this uh, medicinal marijuana is supposed to be the greatest thing since supposed to be the greatest thing since like it just makes my stomach turn. I just the whole thought of it just brings it makes me want to barf. I just can't I can't handle it. I mean, I don't want to handle it, and I can't handle it. I don't want to smell that that horrible smell. I mean, one time I was I was dating, and I, I went over to this girl's house. I was pretty desperate. I was a pretty lonely guy. I don't think I've ever told this story before. I was a very lonely guy, and uh, this girl would call me late, late, late at night, and uh, come on over, and uh, you know, go over there, and you know, I want to sit with her and talk, and, and uh, look at this. Wow, a lot of cars there. I think this must be a toad over there because this is like millions of cars and look there's the blimp and there's where it lands and say the lift yeah that must be Toyota so they've got a lot of buses here and they got tons of cars so this friend wanted to hang out and I but they they were smoking I was like I, I just couldn't stand the smoke I didn't mind it once they finished the smoking but um, the smoking was just like gag me. I can remember being uh, at the uh, screen door with my head. You got, you got to... I got to do this. This is so cool. Look. Yeah, see, look, the blimp. This is where the, this is where the blimp is, uh, ha is hanging out. The Goodyear blimp is right here near the 405 and the 110. Well, you don't get that every day, do you, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, so I would have my head out the window to breathe because I was so, I was so just sick at the smoke. And I was just like, I, and I was, you could tell I was really desperate for friendship to, to be going over that late at night and this friend is puffing away. I'm like, okay, hi. And they were like, what are you, what's wrong? What's wrong? So I can't breathe the smoke. I just can't. I can't do it. I mean, Plus, I knew it was bad for me, which, you know, my grandfather died of lung cancer, so. <sighs> there goes a little zippity doo dah Porsche there. Zipping right through Porsche Rama there, huh? Makes me think of Ellen DeGeneres and her friend is Porsche. I don't know who named her kid Porsche. 
into some kind of car. There's another Porsche. This is a Carmen Ghia, a Porsche Carmen Ghia. A lot of, a lot of different cars here. Wow. I think this is near where I had a friend of mine live down this way too. Now that I'm at the end of the 110 here, I think that there's another friend that lived up out this way. So, wow, this is amazing. There's Alpine Villa. That's where my sister used to work. Right there at Alpine Villa. I'm still See right there it says Alpine Village. My sister worked there. I don't know what she was doing something with, with ambulances. So she worked there. Yeah. That was about must be 20 plus years ago. I better run. I'm gonna look at my map and see where I'm doing here. Let's see. It told me uh, here it is. It's a mile and a half. I'm getting off. Well, if you want to talk, there's an In-N-Out Burger there. Yay! Uh, I'd love to talk to you. God bless you. And um, if I can be of service, let me know. All right, right now I'm on my way out. God bless.